Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to learn about for loops. Uh, so what is a for loop? It loops through data. Um, so for example, uh, we have learned about sequences which is like tuples, lists, uh, uh, strings, and so on. When we have a sequence we're able to loop through the data in the sequence and what it does is it performs a task for each time it finds a piece of data All right. so for you to better understand this let's go ahead and play with some for loops so fire up your python interpreter python 3 and what we want to do first is we're going to create a string and represent it by a variable so I'm going to say str is our variable and that's going to represent a string of python All right. So now we want to run a for loop and print out each letter in Python. So to do that, we do for, which indicates to Python that, hey, we want to run a for loop. All right, so the next thing we need to do is have a temporary variable to represent each piece of data in the sequence. So in this case, I'm just going to use x. That's going to be our temporary variable. All right, and it only represents each piece of data each time the for loop runs, or, uh, goes through its thing. So 4x in, in says in the sequence. So in this case we're going to use str. All right. Hit return. And we're in two spaces and then we're going to do something. So we're going to print x. Okay. So what's going on here? We're saying to Python for um, each piece of data in this sequence we want you to do something and x is going to represent each piece of data so in this case it's going to uh, represent p and then next time it runs it's going to represent y and next time it runs it's going to represent t and so on and then in says in this uh, sequence here so str is representing our string so we put str here and then down here we say print x so when it runs it's going to say okay the first letter is p and then it's going to print the P. So let's get and take a look at that. So hit return, return one more time, and you see it printed Python all in the line. All right, pretty cool, right? <clears throat> so that's how a for loop works. So let's take a look at it um, a different way. Do we have to have a variable here? No, we could do for x in Python. and it'll give us the same thing. No different. All right. Uh, clear my screen here. Now let's try a list. So let's uh, have a list of animals. And in our list, like I said, it's going to contain animals. Dog, cat, bear, and monkey. All right, so here's our list of animals. So for Animal, which is a temporary variable in animals, print animal. Dog, cat, bear, monkey. Pretty simple, right? Um, what else we could also do is you see how for loops work, it, it's pretty simple. We could also have an else statement, like we saw in um, our if statements that we worked in. The previous tutorial, we got an else statement. So let's go ahead and add an else statement to our previous one here. So we'll do for animal in animals, two spaces, print animal, and then else, and then two spaces, and then we're going to say print uh, no more. Alright, so <clears throat> it's going to go through the loop like we saw before and print out each animal. And then once it hits the end of the sequence here, it's going to uh, hit the, it's going to go to the else statement and print no more animals. So we hit return, return, and we get our dog, cat, bear, monkey, and then no more animals. Alright, so that's just another way to work with four statements. Um, so let's go ahead and build something a little bit more sophisticated. I mean, 
it's not really much more sophisticated, but it has more functionality. That's what I was looking for. So what we're going to do is clear this. We're actually going to exit out of our interpreter. Control D, open up your um, text editor. I'm going to create a new file. So Command N, and I'm going to save it, Command S. And I'm going to call it search. search.py and we're going to make a little search program and it's going to take the user's input and it's going to search through some data and let us know if it found it or not found it. So first thing we want to do is get the user's input. So we're going to create a variable that will represent user's input and I'm going to call it search. And then we're going to put input and what would you like to search? So there's how we, we saw this uh, in the previous tutorial, how to get the user's input and what it does. So we hit return. All right, now we need some data that we're gonna search for. So I'm gonna create a variable data. I'm gonna create a list of data. We'll uh, put some programming languages in there. Oops, Python and Perl. Ruby, and that's good enough for now. So there's a, that's our data it's going to search for. All right, hit return, and we go to the next one, and now we're going to run a for loop. All right, And in this for loop, it's going to go through the data, and it's going to iterate through each piece of data and take a look at each one. All right, So let's go ahead and type for uh, x in data, or for, yeah, in data, I'm sorry, uh, we're going to do something. So in this case, we want to say if the search variable uh, matches something in the data, do something. So we're going to say if statement, and we're going to say x is equal to search, we're going to print found your And then we're going to have to add a break statement, which we haven't talked about. When a break statement runs, it breaks out of the loop. Um, so it says, hey, stop what you're doing and exit out. And I'll show you why we're going to do that in a second. Um, now that we have our if statement, if it finds um, the data the user put in, it's going to run this print statement, found your language, and it's going to run break statement, and it's going to exit out of the for loop. Uh, if it does not find our um, our data in here, it's going to do something else. So print, and we're going to say that language does not exist. All right. So save that, and we're going to go ahead and run our program. So I'm going to say. Python 3, and make sure you're in the containing file that where you saved your doc, your uh, program. Uh, so I'm in programs, that's where I saved it. Python 3, search.py, go ahead and run it. What would you like to search for? I'm going to say Python, hit return, found your language. All right, pretty cool. Let's, let's try this again. This time, let's look for PHP. That language does not exist. All right, so this is just a simple simple little search program to search through data. Um, if we take out this uh, break, which I just commented out, I want to show you what happens. And why I put that there. Search, we're going to search for Python. All right. Found your language, that language does not exist. Well, what happened there? Well, what happened was it ran through our data up here and it found the search, the word the user searched for, that's Python. So it found that language, 
So it came through, it printed, found your language, and then it continued to run, and then it hit the end of our sequence down here, or the end of our list, and then it ran the else statement and printed language does not exist. Well, we don't want that to happen because then the user's going to be like, what, did you find it or not find it? So that's why we add break. So if this if statement is true and the rest run and it runs that block of code, we want the print and then we want to exit the for loop. So that's why we use break and break breaks out of the um, uh, for loop. All right. So that's just a basic little program, and uh, I'm trying to gear more towards the uh, showing you guys how to write programs as I'm teaching you now that we're kind of working with. Um, if statements, for loops, and stuff like that. So we're going to try to do this in every tutorial that it makes sense in. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.